Hi, my name is Amelia. I'm a public health educator at Maine General Medical Center. I provide drug overdose education and help support our harm reduction needle exchange. This presentation will cover basic information about the dangers of using benzodiazepines and opioids. So what comes to mind when you hear benzodiazepines? What are benzodiazepines? Benzodiazepines are commonly referred to as benzos. This group of drugs covers pills like Xanax, Xannies, Bars, Valium, and Klonopin. A few of these prescription medications are pictured on the slide. Medically, benzos are used to treat anxiety or insomnia. Benzos are depressants, meaning that when you take a benzo, you are depressing or slowing down your brain power. Your body will have slow movements, slowed breathing, and a slow heart rate. You might even get confused or have a headache. Benzos can be misused, meaning that they are taken against doctor's advice or for non-medical reasons. Most people misuse benzos to relax or sleep. When someone takes benzos for misuse, they may be using a higher dose than what a doctor would prescribe. Their breathing will become slowed. Opioids, another class of drug, including prescription painkillers and fentanyl, also slow down your breathing. So if you take benzos and opioids at once, there's a much higher chance that your breathing will be slowed down a ton. Slowed down breathing can result in an overdose. The misuse of benzos and opioids at once increases your chance of overdose by 10 times. If someone overdoses on opioids and benzos, Narcan will only reverse the effects of the opioids. Overall, benzos are involved in 16% of total overdose deaths in the United States. The green line on the graph shows that almost all benzo-involved deaths also involved an opioid. It's important to be aware when you're mixing medications and be mindful that certain combinations can be very lethal.